from nanohertz that says Super Ryu World. Everyone seems to be really excited, and so am I. And with that, let's, on, let's throw this on over to Ryu Car with Super Ryu World 2. Nice. All right, hello everybody. I'm Ryu Car. Um, I'll, I'll be playing a Super Mario World ROM hack called Super Ryu World 2, created Whee! by a gunny. On the couch, we have Mitch Flower Power, SMB3 Legend, Tammy <laughs> Black Media, and Noble Tofu. Uh, they'll be helping me get through this run, so I guess I'll count it down now if y'all are ready. <clears throat> Three, go. two, one, go. Right on. Woo! Woo! Go! Welcome to the sequel of Super Ryu World. This time things will get a little crazier. And to the left we have Hector, to the right Cora. Those are Ryu's real life cats. Yes. I love that he put them in the game. The cuties. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, when I first played this, I didn't know that they were your cats. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope they're at home watching. <laughs> Hector and Cora, we miss you and we love you. That's so sweet. <laughs> So this, uh, this is Ryu World 2. Uh, we should probably say that this is the, uh, obviously the sequel to Ryu World 1. Yes, uh, indeed. The original Ryu World 1 is a little bit easier. It's more of an introductory Kaizo hack. Uh, this one's pretty tough, so it gets a one, little, little one crazy. To, 1 to 10, what do you think? Difficult. On a difficulty, yeah. like Ryu World 2? Yeah. Uh, like a 6? Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's a solid six, 6, maybe 5. Right on. Yeah. I would say that this hack has a very good um, What's the word? It has a very good flow of difficulty. Like the first level is pretty, you know, it's pretty nice. It's not nothing too crazy. And every time the level progresses to the next one, it's it's it gets incrementally harder. The art is fantastic too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, Aguni, he does a good job with palettes. <laughs> All right, stage one in the books. Woo! Already. Yeah. yeah. Go. All right. The worst is over. Level one the is always is the over. hardest. <laughs> level all one is all always. easy. Always the hardest. <laughs> Split. <laughs> Plus 15, what? <laughs> Reset. <laughs> All right, stage two. Oh, Yoshi's Island. Beautiful. Yeah, so this level's cool because it does import the backgrounds and sprites from Yoshi's Island. I think it's this, this level's really cool because it has so many speed strats because the level kind of like has this slower pace to it, but you can do it so much faster if yeah. you don't do the strats right. Yeah, you can cut a lot of jumps really sharp, too. Yeah. I just want to say right now, uh, I'm known to floss for charity, uh, but because Ryu's, this is Ryu's run, I've got to, like, make it twice as expensive. So for <laughs> a single $500 donation, I'll floss for charity. Um, yes. Yeah. Also, so, also, I forgot to mention I am donating $10 for every death. Um, what do we have? Two right now, I think right? we have two yeah. so far. $10 per death. Yeah. Look at that. And that's level two. Yeah. Right on. Already just cruising through, man. Cruising. Is that, that was Kirby, right? Music? Kirby? That was Kirby That music. was Kirby, that's right. Yep. Yep. That when you have the, the star, I think. Or, no, it's like a I don't know. I don't remember. Is that the SNES Kirby game? I don't remember. But we have the first Switch Palace here. I would say that this is where the hack actually starts to take off a little bit in difficulty. This section can be pretty tight with uh, having to aim that uh, shell to make sure that the, the disco can get a path through. Yeah, that, that is definitely uh, one of the harder parts. Pew, pew, pew. I know he just grabbed that throw block and it seemed like very pointless, but that is actually really hard to just grab a block off the wall moving in the opposite direction. Oh yeah. They, they're really fussy sometimes. Oof. Oof. You gotta no reset, yum. dude. No reset. Yum. Reset. You know, I know what to do. <laughs> <We> just... <laughs> oh, yeah, just stomp. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't learned. So Mitch is best known for killing a run live at GDQ. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> it's his greatest accomplishment. <laughs> we were all uh, in the practice room, and Ryu got every single yum. Um on the practice run, so, you know, I mean, he still got him, technically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I one-shot everything in the practice room. <laughs> to let do you guys know. Do you have a favorite level? Yeah, I think I do. I'll try to point it out when we get there. I, this, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, Timmy. Oh, I was just gonna say, in this level, we're escorting a few moles mm -hmm. through it, which I yeah. like. Makes me feel important. This is actually a secret exit right here. Uh, secret. 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 You just like jumped yeah. up the wall there. Yeah. Like, how do you find that? Yeah. This takes us to the star 
world, Star Road. So yeah. something that I think that's really cool about Ryu World 2 is Aguni actually planned um, the entire hack around if you find the special world, it's uh, the special world has a bunch of really difficult exits. And if you get to the end, you actually basically unlock an easier mode that actually makes a lot of other levels um, wow, a little bit crazy. Dr e easier to drift through. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah, it's a throwback to the original Mario World, how P-Switch palaces, you know, made levels a little easier. Yeah. I thought it was a really cool idea. That is... Another thing that should be said is uh, a Goonie actually updated this. Oh, level. caught the platform and lost my spin jump. Chat, make sure you keep track of these deaths. Yeah, we need to know. Yeah, that right. was three. Three right now. Yeah, three. Oh, uh, but yeah, no, a Goonie went through and um, actually fixed a lot of sections throughout this hack um, that were mildly inconsistent or just inconvenient. Yeah, he spent a lot of time refining it and uh, making sure it was really polished. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> and the slide to kill the boot. That's always a fun trick. And uh, Get out of here, ghost. We were talking about this recently, but a lot of people didn't know you could kill the ghost by sliding into him. You can actually do it in the original Mario World, in the ghost house. Even on, like, the little ones, too, right? Yeah. Crazy. I don't know about the little ones. You can spin <laughs> jump on the little ones. I love the aesthetics of this level. Yeah, the music in this level is fantastic as well. No, Yoshi. Oh, that's a nice little swag. Just throw it up and let your stuff. Ooh. I don't know save if, it, save it. I don't know if I can save it. So I, I needed to hit that vine, but there was no way for me to get back. Yeah. Good at that four. That is, that is four, yes. Dang. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, we have some time to get in some donations. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you're ready to floss. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $500 donation from Kanasaki. Whoa. Whee! Whee! All right. wow. Here's some wow. money for a good cause and a 500 dono. Holy Rio, holy. rock your hack and greetings from Bavaria. It's on Bavaria? Greetings. I hope they have good chocolate. All right. You want me to do it now, Rio, or should I wait till like a... Uh, when I beat the level, I okay. feel okay. appropriate. Celebratory <laughs> floss. Celebratory yeah, floss. Celebratory floss. That's fair. That's fair. So this level is called Friday Night, which is a testament to Ree's Friday Night streams. Coincidentally, it is Friday Night as well. Oh yeah, it is. This part is really cool. Oof. I always try to get all the coins. It's completely arbitrary, but... <laughs> <laughs> all right, the Go inner through. kid. You're up. All right, all right. I did the things I do for charity. I'm going to turn around for okay. this. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I got a... One... Oh, there we go. Yeah. You gotta get that in the rhythm, right? It's, it's, taking, it's taking me like no time at all to get this one started. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, cringe harder. <laughs> I don't think I could if I tried. <laughs> Cringe publish. Back to the game, though. This is like one of my top five favorite levels of all SMW. I love this level. The entire level is kind of themed around keeping this P switch. In fact, I think the level is uh, Keep the P, right? The level's called Silver Catastrophe, but yeah, that is oh, the entire close. Yeah, yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, no, that was close, pretty close. 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 Yeah. I, yeah, I the, thought it was called that, too. <laughs> I love I, the P-Switch utilization in this hack. Yeah. <laughs> really clever. Yeah. And there's actually a timer in the top right corner. You can see Ryu's only got eight seconds left, so uh, <laughs> better hurry up, dude. So if you, if you would have used my the way. switch there, it wouldn't have turned Ooh. those to coins, right? No, he actually but needs to keep the P-Switch right check here. Check it out, Mitch. It turns into a mushroom. Oh, and then he... And it keeps nice. him from a postal yep. death. She'll yes. see. I would, cool. I would have fallen for that. Love the sex. Usually the first time people play that level, they somehow fumble with the P-Switch <laughs> at the end and lose it. But they're like, yes, I beat it anyways. And then they die, which is always great to see. All right, this is our chance at redemption. Jinxed. Come on. Oh! oh. I blame Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> you, built, not, you built me up, man. Yeah. You built me up. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. <laughs> it's not even 20 minutes ago. Still, still very stylish, though, you know? <laughs> He's got his arms spread out. 
It's like an airplane. Would you call that a a T pose? I might. Numb. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know where to go with that one. Okay, so we're going back to the main path now. So we're going back to this one to get the main exit. Yeah. This level's really cool. Yeah, another banging song choice here. I love the music in this hack. I think on the original iteration... Oh, that's six. That's six. Six. On the original iteration of this hack, it, it was so difficult that uh, it actually scared a lot of people away from playing it. Because um, I, th I think it's dramatically underrated for a hack. I really enjoyed playing this when I did. Yeah, so a little, a little lore behind the hack. A gunny made this when he first started doing hacks, and he just kind of like pushed it out, no testing, no anything. And it was really rough around the edges, extremely difficult, um, which definitely did <coughs> deter a lot of players. But he has refined it so much now that it really yeah, stands it looks, out. It looks really hack. good now. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. You know, I did speed runs of it, and uh, I like to say I'm third place. <laughs> it's also last place. <laughs> no big deal or anything. <laughs> Who's first place? Uh, it's Ryu, actually. Oh, Ooh. Uh, yeah, oh. He's, yes, he has the world record in this. And a hack wrong. named after him. Yeah. He also has the world record in Invictus, which yeah, is another wrong one. hack. That one's not beautiful, actually. Ooh. All right, there we go. Was that the hard jump? Was that the, was that the hard jump? Was that... that wasn't it, but I'll let you know. <laughs> I gotta do it once too. I'm just like, is it hard yet? Is it getting difficult? <laughs> the silver level was difficult. That one was difficult. That I was played that on. over in the practice area and it was very difficult. It's so fun. <laughs> the thing I love about this run is the star world is like this big burst of difficulty and then you go back to the main world and, and it kind of goes back but then it builds up again. So it's like the hack has two builds. It's really cool. So if you looked, uh, Ryu actually took a left and you saw that there was um, P-switch blocks there that would not have been there if he did not go into the special world in the first place. So it allowed him to skip a section of the level. And that's what you guys were talking about earlier, yeah. how he sets it up to make things a little easier later. Yes. Only beneficial to 100%, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a nice touch, though. Yeah, we'll see other shortcuts that 100% unlocks. <laughs> I always find that so not funny. Activating the fire here. You have to bop that Bowser to make him shoot flames. It's really weird. Like, I don't oh get gosh, it. That door. Yeah, that door. <laughs> that door. Doors in this game. I missed the first input, too, so I almost crashed. <laughs> so these these bullets are RNG, right? Yeah. Okay. This is a particularly challenging fight because everything is random. Wendy spawn as well as the bullet patterns. And when Wendy spawns next to the wall, you have to be very careful. I love when they just like disappear randomly. Yeah. So you like avoid <laughs> it, but it disappears. But sometimes, like... sometimes the bullets will disappear due to sprite overload, which can sometimes save you. Isn't that the best thing to say? Sprite overload. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the level named Ryu Car's Fridge? Uh, don't ask me, man. It's part of the lore, you know? Lore. Yeah, uh, the, fridge. Hot, the hot lore. Okay, the fridge is where the, cool. the, the cat food is. This has a right. very this, this has a very rich backstory. Yeah. You can buy the hardcover novel on Amazon. <laughs> I love this level because it showcases all the different Yoshi powers. Yeah. Yoshi's Island and stuff. And you're not just using him and abusing him and throwing him away. Well. Oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> so that doesn't count, and I'll tell you why. That that death, I think you should still donate uh, for it. I'm still going to count But it. it was an intentional death. It's actually faster to die there than to go through the pipe. So seven? Yeah, it's still, right still seven. Jeez. So now we get to see the flying Yoshi after the fire Yoshi. And he's stomping. This, this is one powers. of my favorite. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what do we have here? A can you do the a can situation? You, <laughs> can you do <laughs> the I've ever seen one? What was that? <laughs> Could you do the pause strat and like inch it closer to the right? Would that have worked? I don't know. It, it, it would probably would have been too difficult for him to like have the shell drop and then also yeah. try and tongue it. And, yeah. yeah, this yeah. is one of my favorite levels in the hack because it demonstrates all of Yoshi's abilities. And you don't see these in ROM hacks pretty much ever. Um, anytime anyone uses Yoshi, they just... Torture him. Yeah, they just... <laughs> they just oh, I did it oh, twice. <laughs> That's nine, man. Oh my was gosh. That the part? Was that the part? <laughs> <laughs> this is the part. <laughs> If you spit the shell out too early, as you can see, it gets stuck in the wall, which is pretty silly. At least it's a comical death. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A little bit later. Also, you can see there are various blocks throughout the stage, you can see. Yes. 
hundred percent is changing. Spikes there, what we force have to do a little right? bit. Yeah, force to bring Yoshi yeah. out. No it's, sequence breaks there. It's whenever you see the pink blocks. Whenever you see the pink exclamation point blocks, those uh, would not be there had it not be special world. What's our count? Nine or ten? Nine. Nine. Yeah. Double digits incoming. Rex Playgrounds. Ah, uh, yes. yes. The yes. level themed after the airship. Everyone's favorite Mario Maker theme. This is way better, though, because in Mario Maker, the airships go up and down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So annoying. <laughs> it was very kind of a Goonie to not implement that. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not talking. It's just I'm so enthralled because it's just like such a clean platform. I know, me too. We can talk about the dinosaurs. I think they're really cool because you can get two jumps off of them. Yes. Or big spin jumps off of them, so it's quite unique. Yeah, that's not normally a thing, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. That was yeah. a sequence break there, right? You skip the shell? Yeah, yeah, because of 100%, it allows you to do that end setup a little differently. Yeah. Free cheese. Free cheese. All right, we're heading into Hector's Water Bowl. Mm -hmm. This is such a good water level. Yeah. I love this song. We're going to skip half of it. Yeah. And that fish right there is actually being held there by a pink block, just for note. Another benefit, right? Yes. If, if you didn't benefit. switch. Yeah. Who's here? Hector. Who is this? What are you doing? Hector sighting. What are you doing, Hector? Is he in the sink or? He's in the bowl. He's <laughs> in the bowl. <laughs> like this is all the bowl. <laughs> this is just <laughs> Hector's bowl. What do you feed him? <laughs> it's a special stuff. I think Tammy can attest to Hector's bowl being a pretty gnarly place. Yeah. We don't know how it gets that way. Does though. he like drop little pellets of food in it? <laughs> it's just usually full of hair. <laughs> right after you clean it. Life of a cat. Yeah, you'll clean the bowl and then it'll immediately be dirty. I don't know how it happens. Huh? Well, he does drink water using his paw. So he dips he his does. paw and then lick his paw. <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. Uh, another thing just to mention about this level, it's already over, but the entire time there's actually a Don't current. Me. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a, there's a current in this, uh, this level that's actually always forcing him left. Yep. So he's got a constant... Um, he's got to constantly just try and be aware. That's a good point. I didn't even think about mentioning that. It's another P-switch. Saving the day after the goal. Hey, dude, that was a nice. That was a nice jump. Thank you. Yeah. You could. It's 100% underwater. <laughs> water. Frame, frame, swimming frame jump. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to find out what's in your attic. You know, I find it weird that Aguni knows so much about your house. <laughs> right? <laughs> like he's got your fridge, your bowl, now your attic. Like, do you even have an attic? I think so. Yeah, and it looks just like this. You got, you got, you got ghosts in your attic, huh? <laughs> yeah. And disco shells. <laughs> shells just, uh, it's a disco ball. With, it's, a, it's a ghost in his attic with disco balls. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Saved it. Nice. Woo! And much like vanilla, he won't damage you, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Oh man. Nice, dude. Nice. Very nice. I like the Mar Ryu also on the screen. Oh, Ma nice. Ryu was a nice touch, yeah. <laughs> Ryu would have beat it faster. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Too many letters. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, this song's a banger. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I think this is the tune that most people will recognize. I actually have no idea what this song's from. Super Mario RPG. I have never played that. You should. That's a must. Woo! That's definitely ben. a must. Ten. <laughs> Double digits. I'm just dying for charity, you guys. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously it's on purpose. I think you need to throw them a few more. No problem. <laughs> is it getting harder yet? <laughs> can you can you play well? <laughs> Mitch is trying to ensure that I get those guts. <laughs> I'm surprised you're still going. Like, I was legit hitting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got him. <laughs> that is a really hard shell jump because... I'm oh, sorry. Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that wasn't me. I didn't move. You know, it's 2019. You shouldn't be missing shell jumps. Yeah, come on. <laughs> sorry. 
I do have I do have a go-to excuse for shell jumps, and that is because they're so different in Mario Maker. So when you go back and forth between the games, yeah, it's actually it's really tricky. The fact that you're able to cross-platform like this is really hard. Yeah. It was it felt impossible when I first started doing it. I don't notice it as much anymore though. Nice. So there's a checkpoint in this uh, level, but Ryu is going to be skipping it because it's in a subworld, which is, of course, a pretty big time loss. Looks like he should have gone to the subworld and got the checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a commentator's curse? Because yeah. it felt yeah. like it. Yeah, no, my bad, dude. <laughs> Thank you. I don't feel so bad now. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want Mitch to stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I had a yump curse too, so I feel better. Yeah, we've all cursed him once. Now, <laughs> now, now we got to lay back guys. <laughs> Can't believe I got that shell jump. I can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you always believed in me. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the clinch. <laughs> oh Is that my even gosh. worth it? What's the? <laughs> well, the, those three Koopas, they fly in and they will kill you. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> they will kill you. Yeah, but we don't have time to wait for them. We gotta go for it. Yeah, we're speed goal. running. We're speed we running yeah. here. Yeah. And we all know this kind of level. Oh, I love this level. It's got like a Mega Man background almost. Yeah. Silver Surfer music. <laughs> I was just about to say <laughs> shout out to Silver Surfer. Have you played it? No, no, but I, I just, I love It's like the, the worst NES game. <laughs> no, no, I've okay, so, so, so since we have an audience here, I'm going to say that Silver Surfer has a really bad rep, but I think it's a great game. And I think it's hard, but it's it's not insane. It's a lot, it's a lot harder on the mashing, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, yeah, AVGN gave it, you know, <laughs> a, a crazy rep, but I thought it was really good. 14. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 15. I mean, hopefully for, so that, the, for the marathon, we could hit 20. Yeah, so that disco <laughs> shell up there is actually trying to block me, if you didn't notice it. So you have to, you actually have to turn Mario around very specifically, otherwise the shell gets in the way. That jump right there is particularly very hard. He's, Ryu's making this level look way easier than it is. There's a lot of, like, really tight edge jumps going on here. Um, he's got to make sure he builds momentum up before he jumps off, which is really hard because there's yeah, spikes. The platforms are drastically changing your momentum. It's something you don't yeah. notice unless you play uh, yeah. Kaizo's. Like right there, for example, or right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're, trying, nice. they're trying to move you into the spikes, which is alarming. I would say that this is probably one of the hardest levels in the game for sure. <laughs> nice. Very nice shot right there. Oh, that's like the rug getting pulled out from under you right there. <clears throat> yeah. Is that 15 or 16? This, 16. This is one of those levels that must feel really, really good when you do it, right? Yeah. And the other thing to mention, too, is um, it's not even about going the fastest in this level. You actually have to time these platforms in a way that they line up. Because if you activate them too soon, what's going to end up happening is it's not going to line up, and then you forcibly die. So... Nice, nice man. Job. That one side jump looked really awkward. You have to like yeah. knee grab, right? And like yeah. on an angle. That looked yeah. ridiculous. Definitely an easy one to get stuck in. So we are heading into the final world. Two more levels to go. Ooh. I'm going to pause on the <laughs> menu here. Like normally you wouldn't hear this because I'd go right into the stage, but it has this banging tune from uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. I love this song. Banger. This level's called the Ford Focus. That is the official Ryu car. Oh, I, I did not know that. <laughs> He's had that car for, I think, 10 years, maybe? Almost 10 years, yeah. That's nice. We're coming back to the airship right here. This level is just, just like the other one. It's just very tight platforming, having to aim um, Goombas and shells at the right parts. The level itself is like really tight too. It's a bunch of tricks yes. in these small areas. Upside down clouds. This part right here coming up is really tough. And he just does it like it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we have 
time for a couple donations? Oh, yes, of course. We Sorry. have a $50 donation from Tall White Ninja that says... Oh, you had it, dude. TWN. <laughs> hey, Ryu. Greetings from your chat. Great seeing you on the big GDQ stage. Now go kill it. Thank you. I just wanted you guys to see this section again. <laughs> <laughs> We also have a $10 donation from PDT10060 that says, Greetings from the donation tracker. If I've got time to donate, that means we need more donations. Let's get our two musical Zelda goals met. And with that, we still do need nice. uh, less than $900. That's a lay drop in. off the ocean strange, right? To make like that screen. Yeah, to oh make my that gosh. show. <clears throat> Very beautiful. All right, oh, one, heart, one, look, look at that heart. That. Cute little heart right there. Eee. Can we all get a heart at the camera? Nice. So we're going to the final stage. Here we go. This level is so impressive to watch. The dragon's flame. Now he knows about your mouth. <laughs> oh gosh. First try. Up input. That was right before the checkpoint, yep. too. Last jump before the checkpoint. Yeah. That jump is really, really, really hard. You need to have like <laughs> a super perfect uh, re-grab jump as you um, throw the shell backwards. This whole section is so awesome. Oh, <clears throat> face plant. The music like throws you into the rhythm, too. Yes. I love this music, it's so good. I think music is an unsung hero, no pun intended, for, for wrong hikes. Agreed. Third time's the charm? Maybe. Oh, and he nails it. There it is. That part is so hard. Thank goodness. All right, guys, so uh, just buckle up right here, because this screen is about to start moving really fast. After he gets back to that part. It's going to stop. It's going to stop first, but then... <laughs> gonna get so fast. Yeah. Oh, pfft. You're making me look bad, Ryu. It's this is <laughs> it. It's gonna be even better now. It's for charity. <laughs> oh, come on. Stuck on the vine. Ooh. The world's shaking. And incoming midair. Yeah, okay. Easy. And he makes it in the pipe. All right. Very nice job. We got our final boss fight. Yeah. So this one, the blocks that he's using to hit Boo are also the ground. So each time he takes one out, it gets a little bit harder. Yeah. And you can't miss any of the four shots. This Boo requires all four hits. And time nice. is coming up. That's time. Right there. Let's go. Also, Whee! I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you look up in this pack, his mouth is just wide open. <laughs> That's beautiful. Which is not normal. That's beautiful. <laughs> Dude, nice job, man. Thank you. Yeah. What was our final time? Oh, 27.43. Yeah. Ryu, very nice. Better. Awesome. <laughs> and so it ends. Another quest where you achieved. Nothing concludes. <laughs> very, very deep lore. Ouch. But at least you explored a little bit around Ryu's house. You managed to steal his beer and eat what he was cooking. Yeah, you got to do something about that attic. Ghosts <laughs> 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 and falling ceilings. You also got to meet Hector and Cora. Everyone loves Cora. Yes. Now it seems like the only place left to explore, I feel like you should say this part, is his, his bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> I'm not going in there. <laughs> <laughs> but that will have to wait for another time. Sequel? Is that what that means? I don't know. It probably means sequel. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. So shout out to Agani for making the hack. Shout out to the awesome Whee! couch, Mitch Flower Power, Tammy Black Media, Noble Tofu. Thank you for being here. Shout out to Thank everybody. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Us. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much. All of you back there, everybody in stream. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. This was really fun. It was my honor to play uh, this at GDQ. So thank y'all for watching.
We'll be looking forward to your donation. And thank you to Ryukar for that awesome Super Ryu World 2 run. Can we get another round of applause, please, for our runner? <laughs> Fantastic job. We have a $100 donation here from Pat Jamieson, which says, well, Spooty asked me to contribute to his suffering. So here you go, man. And with that, we are less than $700 away from the Cadence of Hyrule double time incentives. So we are really close, and we need to get that incentive met before the run starts. So if you have donations to send in, now is a great time for it. We have an anonymous $500 donation as well. It says, good luck, Spooty. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous that says, thanks to the GDQ team for hosting this wonderful event again. And thanks to my boyfriend for introducing me to GDQ during last year's GDQX. We played Cadence of Hyrule Co-op recently, so let's see if we can see the double time run. Good luck to all the runners. We have a $50 donation from Xeno Emblem that says, Cadence of Hyrule is one of my favorite video games, thanks to my good friend, the Luigi guy. I truly hope more people check out Cadence of Hyrule. It's an excellent indie game that deserves, deserves a ton more love. Good luck with the Cadence of Hyrule run. We have a $100 donation from Kevlar12 that says, super excited to see this run. Good luck to all the runners and happy to support a great charity. Let's hear it for all the people supporting and putting on this event. And with that, we are less than, or we are $15 away from our goal. I believe in you, chat. I believe in you. We have a $50 donation from Work Metaphor that says, so awesome to see such a great cause being supported. Accessibility for all. And speaking of the charity that is going to, this GDQX is going to Able Gamers. There are millions of people with disabilities who can't play video games without expensive, specialized equipment. The Able Gamers charity helps gamers with disabilities by providing that equipment free of charge. Their mission is to create opportunities that enable play in order to combat social isolation, foster inclusive communities, and improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. So we really appreciate all the donations that come in. And with that, it looks like our Cadence of Hyrule double time incentive has officially been met. <laughs> we have a $25 donation from Butter Mochi that says, Aloha from Honolulu. Good luck to Spooty and thank you GDQ for the entertainment. And we have a $94 donation from Mistaken that says, I was so caught up in Ryu's run, I almost forgot to donate.
We also have a $50 donation from Tom45. That's his first time donation. Love watching GDQ. And a $25 donation from Chef Mayhem that says donating for Zelda's music because Zelda music is always great. Definitely not donating for Double Tempo because more time with Spooty Biscuit is better. Well, uh, we uh, already met the uh, double time incentive, but we are definitely looking for uh, some donations for the Zelda 2 alternate music incentive. That is currently $3,000, and we are sitting at $295 for that. And that'll be coming up right after Cadence. We have a $50 donation from some dude Tempest90 that says, best of luck to all the runners. I hope everyone has a super fun and safe weekend at TwitchCon. Thank you to all the staff and runners making this possible. Donation goes to enabling double time on Cadence of Hyrule. Thank you so much for that donation. We have an anonymous $25 donation that says, I'm Rudy for Spooty, putting this towards the double time incentive. All right, and with that, we're going to take a quick Twitch ad break. And welcome back to Games Done Quick Express 2019, which is powered by Twitch. For those of you attending TwitchCon this weekend, visit us in room 6D on the second floor next to Twitch Rivals. Our marathon space will be open to spectators 24 hours, including overnight throughout TwitchCon weekend. I also want to give a quick shout out to one of our partners, the Yeti, supporting Games Done Quick events since 2012. Official t-shirt sponsor for Games Done Quick. You can get official SGDQ tees and more at theyeti.com. We have an $88 donation from Har Har Jinx that says, looking forward to the cadence of Hyrule Run, GDQ is the best. And 
we have a $50 donation here from Peter Parker that says, oh my God, first time catching GDQ live and it's just in time for Cadence of Hyrule. Nice. We have a $50 donation from Agent501 that says, here is to a good cause. Good work to all the runners. We have a $30 donation here from Dan's dad that says, Evening esteemed guests. As someone with his own mental challenges, I want more folks to be able to have fun with games. I support what the Able Games Gamers Foundation wishes to accomplish. Keep on grooving all. And let's get some more piano tunes for Zelda 2. Shout outs to Meg Mac. And just a reminder, we are trying to hit the incentive for Zelda 2 alternate music. We have uh, $853 out of 3,000, so we still need a bit more before we finish Cadence. And we did get a $250 donation from Ryukar that says, shout outs to the Mario community. Thanks for letting me die repeatedly for charity. 